Hey, what's up guys? Thank you all so much for taking the time to check this video out. And in this video, I'm going to give you guys the top three ways, in my opinion, to make money the fastest and the easiest in Red Dead Online. Now, please keep in mind that this is my own personal opinion. And yes, I did personally test each of these methods, but I've been doing them by myself. And I took my time with it. And I tested it doing it as fast as possible. So I ranked them from the worst to best, so to say, from three to one. Um, this list is free roam and PvP friendly, so there's a little bit of both worlds in here. And it's also the pre-summer DLC money guide that I'll make, since um, that's going to be bringing businesses, and I'll end up making another guide on that when those roles slash businesses come out. But uh, let's go ahead and get this started with number three, and that is PvP. So PvP is actually a pretty decent way for uh, players to make money, but only if they place within the top three, I'd say. And I'm sure uh, most of y'all are like <laughs> like me, and you're either pretty bad at PvP or just don't enjoy playing it all that much, so you don't really play it that much. I played PvP for about around an hour, and I made around 150 to 200 bucks. I'd say about 150, 160 bucks actually. Uh, but that was only because. The only lobbies that I could get into were the Elimination Series since they're dishing out 30% more cash for this event week. Um, but I did manage to get a couple games in the Showdown Large Series and I made around 40, 50 bucks in 30 minutes. I think it was like 48, 49 something bucks in, uh, in about 30 minutes without placing in the top three. Um, so if I were to place in the top three, then that amount would have obviously increased. Um, so at number three, we have PvP, PvP just because it's not the greatest with uh without payouts um, if you don't do well and they take a while to complete plus we gotta, we're, we're gonna think of time management here as well um, and there's long load times between matches sometimes you know the pre lobby is a minute long and then you've got to wait another minute or so to actually load into the map and then you gotta wait another five ten seconds for the match to actually start and then you're finally in there and if you don't place top three well you're not gonna make that much money uh, like I said I made about 40 50 bucks in 30 minutes without placing in top three so for my time that was not the uh, not the best route to go money and man and time management wise okay number two is free roam missions um, free roam missions are actually really easy to do and they do not take a long time if that's how you want to do them you can take your time with them or you can do them as quickly as possible now, I spent an hour playing free roam missions and doing them as fast as possible and I made around $200 um, actually it was just a little bit more it was about 205 uh, just doing them as fast as I can in about an hour time frame that's that's what I tried to do for each one of these was about an hour um, I also did a couple where I took my time and uh, I didn't complete them until there was five seconds left on the timer and um, just as you know just as you would imagine I got paid a hell of a lot more than I did uh, doing them quickly but that takes a lot longer so in the long run I'm not actually making as much so if I was to the longer that I took the higher the payout I made almost 50 bucks in two missions that had a 50 minute timer so in about 30 minutes I was making around 50 50 dollars in 30 minutes whereas when I did it for an hour doing them as fast as possible I made just a little bit over $200 um, that was just speeding through them as quickly as I could um, you also do get gold nuggets and XP um, and I've noticed with the free roam missions out of all of these options in this money guide the free roam missions actually hand out the most gold nuggets and XP so if you're trying to grind rank I say I highly suggest doing free roam missions and trying to hit it that that sweet spot that middle of the timer um, so free free roam missions are at number two for the uh, the ability to make good, a good amount of money gold and XP in a decent amount of time and finally we got numero uno and that is hunting it may not seem like it but hunting is by far the most profitable source of income in Red Dead Online for me um, I spent 20 minutes just killing everything inside. I mean, I just pulled out my repeater and just started shooting everything that I could. That's fucked up, I know, but I was trying to do this guide. Um, and I so I had a lot of one-star pelts in there. I made about $50 in 20 minutes just by killing everything as fast as possible and as much as possible. Um, and also selling everything, meat, antlers, um, carcasses, hearts, tongues, all that shit. Um, I spent about 30 minutes hunting the right way and getting three star pelts and I actually got a three star buck carcass which sells for five dollars by the way and uh, I made eighty dollars it was like 79 something in 30 minutes um, that was hunting right so like stalking my prey and using the right weapon and killing only two or three star animals mostly three star so in my opinion the best bang for your buck in terms of time and ease is definitely hunting like I said in 20 minutes of just killing everything I made fifty dollars 
you know, I did another 30, 30 minutes, I made 80 bucks in 30 minutes. So we're looking at we're 130 bucks in less than an hour. And that was just to do this as a guide. You know, if, if imagine spending a couple hours getting only three star pelts and then a three star cougar carcass, which sells for, I think, 650. Uh, we're talking hundreds of dollars very, very easily. I know it's not the most exciting grind, but I mean, if you're trying to get cash for the upcoming DLC, um, this, then this is definitely what I recommend. This is what I've been doing. I've been spending, I get on, I'll do a couple PVP just to mess around with PVP. Um, and by a couple, I mean one, because I fucking hate PVP. Um, I mostly do free roam missions, but those take a lot longer than hunting. But if I want to try and make quick money, I... Uh, what I do is I go to the Black Forest and the Hanging Dog Ranch areas up by Strawberry, and that's where I hunt quickly. There's a ton of animals, tons of different kinds of animals over there, um, and it's only about a minute to ride from Hanging Dog Ranch to Strawberry if you're just smashing that A button or your sprint button, um, and you can sell your goods. Uh, also, Hanging Dog Ranch has the jewelry glitch there. Well, I guess that's not really a glitch, but if you, you spawn in, Go to that one cabin in Hanging Dog Ranch. There's that two spots for jewelry, so you can go in there and get those and sell them at a fence. Um, and then, if you want to, you can kill all the kinds of stuff as much as you want over by Hanging Dog Ranch. Wake your way, make your way into Black Forest, kill everything there um, as much as you can. There's also an ambush and a gang hideout over there. There's a couple ambushes actually. Um, and then on your way back to Strawberry, you can make a little detour to Beecher's Hope. And there's a cougar down there, and if you're lucky, it'll be a three-star. You can kill it with a bow, um, get a headshot with a bow to preserve that three-star carcass and that three-star pelt, and there you go. You know, you got six fifty, seven bucks right there off the the cougar carcass alone. Okay, so I know that was a lot, um, but trust me, it will help you guys in the long run. Hunting, I know it doesn't seem like it, but hunting is by far the way to do it. It's the quickest and the easiest method to getting money in this game, I promise you. But that's it for this one, guys. Uh, thank you all so very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed and it helped you all get a little bit more cash, then drop the video a like and share it with your friends. Other than that, subscribe to stay caught up with all the Red Dead content on the channel, and I will see you all in the next one.